What's up everybody? The Animal Man here. I am uh, camping at a at a resort in southeastern Massachusetts. And before you make fun of me, I like camping all different ways. Survival camping, backpacking, tent camping, and I've got my trailer here this time. Yes, I have a trailer. And uh, what I want to show you today is I want to talk about um, oak trees and I want to teach you about acorns. Acorns are very uh, overlooked uh, resource that we can use, especially as survivalists, um, as food, uh, medicine, all kinds of things. And oak trees being part of our um, our, our major four uh, grouping of plants that are the most useful to us are a very important thing to, uh, to understand and, and to be able to use all the different parts of it. So I want to show you two major different types of oaks that we need to be concerned with. And uh, we have one right here, there's two of them actually right here, and one of the other type is right there. So, I'm going to show these to you. So right here, this is the target for acorns. These are in the white oak family, these two trees. So these are typical leaves of the white oak group. And what you notice is, the lobes, which are the parts that come out, these are called the lobes, just like your earlobe, they're rounded. They look almost like fingers. You look at this one. These are very, very cool looking leaves. It's almost like the fingers of a hand, you know? They look like little fingers. And they're rounded. And that's the key. If you got rounded lobes on the oak leaf, it's the white oak group. And the acorns are abundant. They mature pretty much every year. And you can see all the acorns down here. There's, I mean, thousands of them right here. And uh, you get acorns every year. And these are the acorns that are your target for food because they are not that bitter. Um, you may need to do little or no preparation to be able to eat these. Some of these you can even eat off the ground uh, with no preparation at all. Just eat them raw right, right from where you find them. So now we come to this oak tree. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. This one is in the red and black oak group. All right, now here's some leaves from this red and black oak family. You can see, I mean, big, big difference. It's kind of curling up there. How about, it's a little baby one for you. This will give you the point. Check out the lobes on that. So they're very, very pointy and sharp. So it's kind of cool to remember, you know, sharp leaves on the oak mean sharp tasting acorns. The acorns on these, they're shaped differently. They're a lot fatter, larger and they're full of tannic acid, which is all right, but it just makes it very, very bitter. And the way you should look at these acorns is, you know, this oak family, the acorns of the red and black oak are for emergency food, because they're so bitter. Um, you can prepare them to get the bitterness out, which we'll cover later on, but it's also good for medicine. Here's one, white oak acorn. There's all different ways to, uh, to crack these open. A lot of times, I'll just take and put my mouth, crack them up with my teeth. It's open. And there it is. See that? Some of the nut meat's coming out. And a lot of times with these, at first you're like, ah, it's not that bad. And it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All of a sudden, like, blah. It's got this aftertaste. But this one tastes wonderful. It tastes kind of, kind of, almost like walnuts. So... This is a very, very good, good, good one actually. I like this tree. All right, great. So I'm gonna collect a bunch of these. Now, when I come over here, I'm gonna test one of these from the red oak here. And I know what's gonna happen. I know it's gonna taste bad. Just to show you. So here's one of these. Again, it's very fat, very different shaped. I suspect, strongly suspect, it's gonna taste nasty. It's hard doing this with one hand. Let's get a little bit here. Oh, whoop, whoop, dropped it. Already, already I can taste it. Oh yeah, okay. Son of a nutcracker! Guess what he is eating? The two white oaks there. There's a party going on next door. They're changing color already. I mean, the one on the left is red. This one's 
turning orange and red. Look at this one. I don't know if the color is that good, but it's mostly green still. And if you were to look around here, there's lots of red and black oaks and white oaks. And what I've noticed by walking around the campground is the ones that are red and changing color already are the ones that are good to eat. They're the white oak family. So they change colors at different rates. So that's kind of a neat, interesting thing to know, to keep in mind. Another good thing, important thing to keep in mind is you can see these acorn caps. Acorns are the only, um, the only nut bearing tree in North America that has caps that fit on the acorns. They go, they go kind of like that. So if it has a cap, it's automatically an acorn. All acorns are edible. They're not poisonous. There's no poisonous look likes. It's a very important thing to know. Look at this. This is crazy. I'm gonna fill up my hat with these. This is so cool. Right when I pulled in the campground, I saw what trees were here, and I took that as an omen, man. This is my time to do this video. Now and ever. And uh this is just so special to find a tree like this. There aren't that many good oak trees like this around here. Most of them are the crappy red and black oak, those acorns. Get a bunch. And these are actually really, really good protein too. They've got like 15% protein and fat in them, which is really good, significant.